Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokendra Kumar and today we will discuss theory of pangenesis. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you what is the theory of pangenesis, who proposed this particular theory, what are the different postulates of this specific theory and why it was accepted at that time and later why it was rejected. So we're going to understand about this theory of pangenesis in detail in this particular video. So if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. All right. With that note, let's start the presentation. All right, everyone, as you can see on your computer screen or any mobile device you're using that I have designed this particular slide where I'm trying to show you the concept of pangenesis. You can see I have designed one body and then you have egg and embryo, right? And there is the transformation of some sort of the molecules. Here they are known as uh, gamules. They carry the information to the embryo. All right, so this was just a basic concept of the pangenesis. Now let's discuss the various points that I wanted to uh, share with you with this video tutorial. Uh, let's move on to the next slide. As you can see in this particular slide, point number one is Charles Darwin's hypothetical mechanism was bank genesis. Basically, Charles Darwin proposed this particular mechanism to justify how the characters or traits, they are transmitted from one generation to another generation. Because at that time, many things were unknown in the area of genetics. So he proposed this particular hypothesis to justify uh, these particular mechanisms like sexual reproduction, inheritance of the characters, and so on. So that was the hypothetical mechanism of heredity proposed by Charles Darwin, but later it was rejected. Point number two is each part of the body emitted small organic particles called gamules. I already explained to you that uh, according to bank genesis, there is the formation of small particles by each part of the body and that particular uh, small molecule gathered in the gonads. So it gets collected in the gonad and after that it carries the information to the next generation. So basically it contributes to birds the heritable information. Right? That was the important point in case of bank genesis. Of course it was rejected because uh, certainly it, it is not the case in case of the uh, specifically when we are talking about the transmission of the information from one generation to another generation. Last point which is very important which you need to remember that uh, the work that Charles Darwin performed that was in 1868 the name of the work was the variation the variation of animals and plants under domestication. In this particular work Charles Darwin proposed the theory of pangenesis and later it was rejected. All right, let's move on to the next slide where I'm trying to explain to you using this particular illustration that what is pangenesis. Point number one in this case, as you can see, every part of the body produces gamules. So basically what this hypothesis was trying to say that Every part, every organ of the body produces the small organic molecules that are known as gamules. They get collected in the garnets and after that they transmit the information to the embryo. Second part, they migrate to the garnets and then transfer to the offspring. As you can see, I have uh, designed the embryo and here I'm trying to show you that these gamules, they carry the information to the embryo. Final point is gamules were taught to grow into their allied body parts in the mature offspring. So these gamules, they were responsible to carry the information. Also, they were producing specific parts of the embryo because they were carrying the information from a specific part of the body uh, from the parent. So each gamule was carrying the same information and was responsible to make that particular organ and obviously it was rejected because that was not the case. At that particular time, this particular hypothesis was highly accepted and it was really famous. Uh, if we discuss 
Additional points in this hypothesis, point number one is inheritance of the acquired character was emerged, this particular concept was emerged from theory of pang genesis. What this means is when someone acquires a certain characteristic, for example, if someone acquires the ability to play an instrument, that particular character will be transmitted to the next generation. Second point in this case, this idea of pang genesis and inheritance of acquired character was rejected by Aristotle because he was not comfortable with this idea and he believed that both male and females, they contribute to the offspring. That was a very important point. And the last point is Darwin's pang genesis theory was an attempt, as I've already explained in my first slide, that it was an attempt to explain sexual reproduction, explain inheritance of the traits. Because when, when there is a production of the offspring, in offspring you can see there are those characters, they are appearing, uh, that characters were, those characters were present in the parent, right? So that was the point he was trying to explain. Also he was trying to explain the sexual reproduction. That's why he linked the gamules with the gonads and also the cellular regeneration was important in this case. So he tried to explain this idea, but later the hypothesis was rejected. With this slide, uh, I just wanted to share this particular concept with you. And I hope now this concept is little bit clear, more clear to you. And with this illustration, I hope that the whole idea of Pang Genesis is uh, now clear in your mind, right? If you have any questions, then you can post those questions in the comments comment section and I'll try to answer those questions. If you like the video, then please do subscribe to the channel and support my work. Your support makes a huge difference and motivates me to provide cost-free education to everyone around the world. So please support the channel. And with that note, thank you and take care.